Welcome to 2024. This is day one. My name is Adam Ray. You're tuning in to 4 e Fit. We're powered by Grace. I am just relaxing after a wonderful workout. I ran my Murph consecutive day 1047. I started back in 2021. Um, the goal was 300 Murph workouts that year. I uh, started off with a 30 pound vest and if you're not familiar the Murph workout is a uh, it's a workout that um, came from a Navy SEAL named Michael Murphy died in combat Operation Red Wing uh, the movie Lone Survivor was based on his account um, and also veterans um, uh, the main character um, was uh, Marcus Luttrell uh, played by Mark Wahlberg in the storyline but uh, Michael Murphy was the uh, head of the command of that unit in, Af in Afghanistan who died in combat. And so uh, the workout that he um, has now made famous was called Body Armor, where he wore a 20-pound weighted vest, and he would run one mile, um, 100 pull-ups, 200 push-ups, 300 squats, and then follow up with another mile. And so uh, he was known for his dedication um, to suffering, getting it in daily, and he was a leader of men, a men amongst mighty men. And so CrossFit um, had embraced that workout as a uh, hero workout, WAD workout of the day, and has now been made famous as a uh, Memorial Day workout that's probably done all over the country at uh, gyms now beyond CrossFit. It's become a well-known um, uh, exhibition, if you will, of or a memorial of sacrifice. So in 2021, um, I set out to do 300 Murph workouts with a 30-pound vest. I purchased my vest during 2020, the COVID year, and uh, they were actually out of the weights. Um, they uh, were out of the 20-pound weights, so I had to purchase a 30-pound uh, version, build a 30-pound version of the vest, the weights are separate from the vest, um, so it's about a $300 investment. Um, that being said, when I entered into 2021, I just came off of a year where I had done 500 burpees every day for 365 days. So needless to say, I was not in shape for the Murph. I didn't have the um, muscular um, strength to do even you know, the 200 push-ups, um, definitely not the pull-ups, squats I could handle, but it was, uh, it was a very humbling experience coming off of, you know, doing 500, uh, burpees a day for an entire year. You would think you'd be strong and able to, to go, uh, jump right into something like that, but it actually took me about 45 days, uh, before I could actually do the first full-length Murph with a 30-pound vest. And so uh, roughly two or three months into um, my Murph journey, um, where I had not taken any days off, and I wasn't sure if I was, what days to take off, because the goal was 300 workouts. So I would have 65 days wiggle room to figure out which days to take off. Um, at that time, I discovered there was a few individuals who had actually done um, 365 days of the Murph. And uh, I, um, being a competitor and someone who um, uh, will rise to a challenge, I actually changed my goal to 365 at that point. And um, here I am now in 2024, January 1st, and uh, just never found a reason good enough to stop doing the Murph. It's become a normal part of my everyday life. I've derived an amazing fitness uh, from doing it uh, last year. On I think mid January, right around the fifteenth, I did a marathon, a full length marathon, um, and I did a Murph uh, that evening, a marathon and a Murph in the same day. But that being said, um, the journey has brought me to a place of service where uh, here I am right now in front of a camera talking to you, and so um, I believe in living a life submitted unto the Lord. And I knew at the outset of this journey that goes back to 2019 when I decided to make a standard of daily training every day. 
because I was I was falling well below the standard what I knew God had created me for the level of um, divine health that I knew was available, and so I made a standard and um, that standard um, was that I would not miss a day of training, period going forward, and so um, I knew at the outset of this journey that um, the end game was actually going to be um, the fitness derived from a daily regimen would be a act of service to my fellow man where I would eventually be able to give back everything that I've learned and gained wisdom, spiritual, uh, physical. It was going to be a means by which whatever would be gained through the journey would be leveraging power to be able to um, bless my fellow man with the health and healing that I've received in the process. So uh, if you go back on my YouTube their archive, I, I believe there's a video there where I dedicated um, every sweat, every drop of sweat would equate to a human soul being touched. And so um, here I am now in January. Excuse me one second. Here I am in January uh, 1st, 2024, and uh, heavy on my heart this year is service. And so I'm going to be streaming daily. Uh, videos on YouTube every day after my Murph workout. I'm going to get on here seven to ten minutes and just pour my heart out to you, whatever the Lord puts on my mind, share my story more. Um, just be available. Available to you to serve, to inspire, to encourage, to um, bring value. There's just so much in me um, that I have to give and share. By the grace of God, so much wisdom and insight and intelligence that I've been able to extract through doing the MRF um, over a thousand days now, 1,047 days. So I'm going to bring that to you. Um, it's powerful. I believe you're going to be blessed. You're going to be changed, transformed, revolutionized. Just stay tuned. I thank you for allowing me to serve you. I thank you for lending an ear. Um, I thank you, YouTube, for this forum of uh, being able to share and transmit and publish and proclaim I'm a proclaimer of truth, I'm a child of God, I'm an ambassador, I'm a witness, I'm a son, I'm a warrior, I'm a servant, and I'm a king by the grace of God. And so uh, I'm going to wrap it up with this, but I thank God for you, just know that you're destined, um, that you were not an accident, that you were created with a purpose. Before you were formed in your mother's womb, you existed. Before you were born, you were you're a spirit, you're wrapped in a body, and you have a soul. That's your mind, your will, and your emotions. I'm here to let you know that the soul must be saved. When the mind is lost, there's no synchronicity between spirit and soul. There's no, there can be no alignment. When the soul and the mind is lost, uh, we're a wreck. And so, that being said, Jesus came to pay a price, a high price of his own life to save the soul so that that way the soul can be now brought into an awareness, awareness of an identity, of a value. And if identity and value exist, then there is a destiny. And the spirit already knows. Your spirit already knows you are created for something great. And you are someone great. And so with the salvation of the soul through the cross and through the blood of Jesus, and he rose from the dead to demonstrate his victory over sin, death, and hell, through that... The soul can have salvation and there can be an alignment between what your spirit already knows is true and your soul is lost to the idea of an image that's in you, an identity, a value, and a purpose. So that being said, um, I live powered by grace, by the grace of God. I, may, I am who I am. That's how I've been brought to an awareness, that by the grace of Jesus. I've been brought out of death into life. I know who I am because of that gift. The whole point of grace was the restoration of an identity. It's not so much about sins. Yes, sin needed to be removed. But that way, who you really are internally can be exposed to the world. And first to yourself. In order for the world to know who you are, you must first know who you are. God bless. Welcome to the journey. Before we fit, we're signing out. Stay on that grind. Powered by grace.